If like me, your fingers are a little on the larger side, this video is for you because you can change the size of the keys in your keyboard instruments here in GarageBand. It's super cool. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. To learn more about all of the features of the keyboard instrument, check out the videos down in the description. In this one, I'm gonna show you this, our keyboard options. To select keyboard options, just tap on the keyboard icon. Our first option is a single or a double keyboard. By tapping on the double keyboard, not surprisingly, we get two different keyboards. Now, if you're on a smaller device like an iPhone, this won't be available, but your larger iPads can enable the double keyboard. Now, when using two different keyboards, I recommend having note labels on so you can clearly see what notes are on each keyboard. To do that, we need to jump out of GarageBand into our settings app. Here in settings on the left, scroll down until you find GarageBand and tap on that one. And then over here on the right, you need to make sure that keyboard note labels are enabled. You can see here that our bottom keyboard goes from C2 up past C5 and our top keyboard goes from C4 all the way up past C7 so we can get almost a full piano on one screen from C2 to C4 and then from C4 right up to the top. To change the notes that are displayed on our two keyboards, we need to tap on the keyboard icon and make sure that key controls is turned on. This enables this control here, which allows us to change from glissando to scroll mode. Now we can drag the keyboard here to the side to get lower notes and maybe drag this one up to get even higher notes. But I know you came here because I said I could solve the problem of your fingers not being able to hit all these keys. And we do that with our key width control. You can see here, this is our narrowest setting. If we tap this one, the keys become wider, making them easier to play. And if we want some real control, we can go extra wide so that now it's even easier to play those notes. If you've got slightly chunkier fingers. The final option we have here in our keyboard options is velocity. With this turned off, we don't have control over our velocity. If we turn that on, we can actually set the minimum and maximum velocity for the notes that we hit. This makes it easier to get some nice, decent quality notes coming out of your keyboard instruments. If you wanna learn more about the velocity setting, I've got a complete video about it down in the description. There you have it, the keyboard options here in GarageBand. They can help you adjust your keys and make sure that you can get the best possible performance using GarageBand keyboards. I hope you found this one useful. If you'd like to learn more about creating, recording, releasing using GarageBand, check the videos in the description.